Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Underdevelop here, and this is Horror Month. Ooh. We are continuing Horror Month, and we're doing that with another horror film, like another classic. Last time we did Night of the Living Dead. This time we are doing The Birds by Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I've seen some Hitchcock movies and mostly like them. So, I'm thinking yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. I mean, this. he's one of the <laughs> most legendary directors of all time. Oh, yeah. He was born the year film became a thing. Basically, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, as far as, as far as the ones I've seen of his, I've only seen... Actually, no, I've seen a couple, that I think, but but whatever. Like, I think North Hard Northwest is probably my favorite of his bunch. Uh, I didn't see that one. I've seen Rope. I've seen Rear Window. I've seen Psycho. Um, and a few others I'm not thinking about right now. Yeah. We, this time, we both never seen this movie. Yeah. So we know nothing. This is new for both of us. I know no plots. I know. I just know a director that worked on one of the shows I worked on, Dead Ringers, Chris, Sean Durkin, who actually has a movie coming out this year. Um, good, cool dude. One of his films that he liked was The Birds. Nice. So that's what initially made me want to see it mm -hmm. years ago. So now I'm actually living up to it and actually watching it. <laughs> Now this is a studio budget. Yup. This is cinematography. They hey, have there's Hitchcock. <laughs> yep. He's locked up screen. Oh, hello, Mr. Have Ghost. you ever seen so many gulls? What do you suppose it is? Well, there must be a storm at sea that can drive them in, right? you know. I was hoping you'd be a little late. Did you see he hasn't arrived yet? Oh, but you said three o'clock. Oh, I know. I know. I've been calling all morning. I wonder if you could help me. What? I said, I wonder if you could help me. Handsome man. He's a movie star yes, in what looks. What is it you're looking for, sir? Lovebirds. Love He's like a George yes, Clooney before George Clooney. Hmm. Is that true? Oh, yes, there are. Well, uh, these are for my sister for her birthday, you see, and uh, as she's only going to be 11, I, I wouldn't want a pair of birds that were too demonstrative. I understand completely. Uh, at the same time, I wouldn't want them to be too aloof, either. No, of course not. All right. All right, may I see it, please? Back in your gilded cage, Melanie Daniels. What did you say? <laughs> I was merely drawing a parallel, Miss Daniels. How did you know my name? A little birdie told me. Good day, Miss Daniels. Madam? Hey, wait a minute. I don't know you. Ah, uh, but I know you. How? We met in court. We never met in court or any place else. Uh, that's true. Else. I'll rephrase it. I saw you in court. When? Don't you remember one of your practical jokes that resulted in the smashing of a plate glass window? I didn't break that window. Yes, but your little prank did. The judge should have put you behind bars. What are you, a policeman? I merely believe in the law, Miss Daniels. I'm not too keen on practical jokers. Well, what do you call your lovebird story, if not... Oh, I really wanted the lovebird. Well, you knew I didn't work here. You deliberately... Right. I recognized you when I came in. I just thought you might like to know what it's like to be on the other end of a gag. What do you think of that? <laughs> I think you're a louse. Okay. <laughs> Good day, Miss Daniels. Madam. <laughs> Not where I was expecting this to go. I'm get your lovebirds. Oh, I'll find something else.
Now she's finally on the island after all that time. She made it. Wow, just entering someone's home, not even knocking, ringing the doorbell, nothing. Crazy. <laughs> this is a lot of effort just to do this. <laughs> need to need to untie that. There you go. <laughs> this is the weirdest way two people like got to meet each other like ever. Yeah. This is a very weird meet cute. He's gonna be on the other side. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay! Bird just randomly assaulted her. Yes, I think so. Or he commanded it. Because he's Lord of the Birds. <laughs> that piece is a stupid twist. Oh, I, I know, right? Mitch knows a lot of people in San Francisco. Of course, they're mostly hoods. Kathy. Well, what does that mom, mean? he's the first to admit it. He hoods? spends half his day in the detention cells at the Hall of Justice. In a democracy, Kathy, everyone is. What are you talking about black people? Hoods? Or hood hoodlums? I. Maybe? I don't know. Is that a term back then? I'm not aware of. This is news to me. Is Hood short for Hoodlum? It's to a fair trial. Your brother's practice. Oh, Mom, please. I know all that democracy jazz. There's still Hoods. The fuck's up with her? He has now who shot his wife in the head six times. Six times. Can you imagine it? I mean, even twice would be overdoing it. Don't you think? Why did he shoot her? He was watching a ball game on television. What? His wife changed the channel. <laughs> yeah, that justifies it. Are you coming to my party tomorrow? He had tomorrow? no choice. I don't think so. Oh, I really shouldn't have any more. I'm driving. Well, actually, I'm trying to get you to stay for dinner. A lot of roast beef left over. No, I couldn't possibly. I have to This man just gets his way, huh? All right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Seriously, why do you have to rush off? What's so important in San Francisco? Well, I have to get to work tomorrow morning, for one thing. You have a job? I have several jobs. What do you do? Well, I do different things on different days. Like what? Well, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I work for the Traveler's Aid at the airport. Helping travelers? No, misdirecting them. I thought you could read my character. <laughs> on Tuesdays, I take a course in general semantics at Berkeley. they both smart I knew four-letter words. That's not a job, of course, but... You mean you don't have to... And on Thursdays, I have my meeting and lunch. You need a mother's care, my child. Not my mother's. Oh, I'm sorry. What have you got to be sorry about? My mother, don't waste your time. 
She ditched us when I was 11 and ran off with some hotel man in the East. Damn. Mm. You know what a mother's wow. love is. One ran away, one too clingy. Oh, wow. Bird. More birds. Is it happening? Birds are going crazy. Yeah, damn. What happened to the love story? Oh, is she okay? It's the mother. She's controlling. Like some mustard with that? The birds. Mustard. I'm just adding Why stupid plots to this. Uh, you are. To, to, to a master's, you know, film. What's the matter with them? What's the matter with all the birds? Around. Where'd you want this coffee? Uh, in on the table, honey. Hurry up with yours, Mitch. I'm sure Miss Daniels wants to be on her way. I think you ought to stay the night, Melanie. <laughs> Trying to get her to go. Very passive aggressively. Yeah. Oh, the I believe she's had a time here, Bunny you know. Babe. She must well, go. If I go across to Santa Rosa, I'll come out on the freeway much earlier, won't I? Yes, and the freeway is much quicker. Yeah, but she'll be hitting all the heavy traffic going back to San Francisco. Just listen to those lovebirds. Mitch. Oh! What the fuck? Shout the fireplace down the chimney! How do all them fit? I mean, I, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how, like, uh, wide those were back then. It's a sparrow, all right. We know what it is, Al. Did you have a light burning or something? Well, yes, but there wouldn't have been that much light going up the chimney. Because sometimes birds are attracted by light, you know. <laughs> sure is a peculiar thing. Well, all right, this is but we've got to do something about it. Birds would be attracted. I don't think I get you, man. <laughs> do about what? Well, the birds invaded the house. What's more likely, they got in the room and was just panicked. That's all right, I'll admit a bird will panic in an enclosed room, but they didn't just get in. They came in right down the chimney. My wife found a bird in the back seat of her car once. Tell him about the party. That's right. We had a party here this afternoon for Kathy for her birthday. In the How middle old of the... is she? Eleven. In the middle of the party, some seagulls came down at the children. Miss Daniels was attacked by a gull only yesterday. Yeah. Were the kids bothering the birds or something? Because if you make any kind of a disturbance near them, they're just going to Are you have kidding? To... Oh, the children were playing a game. Those gulls attacked. Now, Lydia, attack's a pretty strong word, don't you think? I mean, no, it's birds not. Just don't go but them gulls, um, them without no reason. birds are gangsters, you know I mean? yo. Kids probably scared. Do you like this Mont Turf? Mm -hmm. These birds attacked. Get out of here. Dad, are you home? Oh, that's a lot of broken cups. Yeah, all of them are. Oh, oh. crazy! Yo, they trashed that place. Deep. Okay, I think these are the signal to get the oh. fuck out of it. Oh, oh whoa!
What's that bird going to do? I feel like we're going to cut to it, and we're going to see a whole bunch more birds there. Like, in the time that she smoked a cigarette, they just, like, pop up. I think up you're on. right. Yep. Oh, three. Oh, four. Yeah, three more. You said it, now it shall happen. More, yeah. Right. <laughs> now we cut, now it's gonna be 20,000. It's gonna be enough to film. It's gonna be enough to fill Wembley Stadium. Yep, no more, more. That's seven so far. There was the bird budget for this movie. Probably where most of the budget went. Yeah, right. Yeah, the fucking animal handlers who need to do this shit. Yep. Now, I'm pretty sure the scene earlier in the room was probably filmed with the stock footage until it's over what was actually happening. Sure, yeah, but this scene, though. No. Yeah, like they're clearly having birds actually do stuff for certain shots. So you need people who actually like train birds and shit. Mm -hmm. Which crows are actually very trainable. Whether those are crows or ravens, they're actually like very. Probably yeah, like, easier to train. Or... Yeah, they're very intelligent, so they're easier to train. Ooh. Oh shit! Damn! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's totally black and white. Yeah. Okay, so I assume this is a color remaster. Yeah, it is, which is annoying I hate because that. I, w I wish the virtual black and white version was available. I hate that. Yeah. I really wish it was, I, but no. Peacock only has this, and I haven't been able to find this movie on any other service. At least not without paying extra money for it. And I don't even know if they have black and white ones on like Amazon or YouTube or anything. It's like watching fucking, uh... Yeah, it's like it's one for life all over again. Yeah. yeah. Hated that watching. Yeah. I mean, at least here, the coloring isn't as bad as it was on that movie, but yeah. still. Yeah. You can tell at points. Well, fair enough, this is a much older movie than that one. No, it's not. Mitchell of Life is like, t it's like 10, 15 years older than this. That's what I'm saying, this movie is a lot older than I mean, oh, I mean younger. <laughs> I mean younger, a lot younger. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure that came out like, what, the 40s? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so fake. Like, terrible green screen, like the outline. Yeah, but it, it's best what they could do at the time. <laughs> this is very impressive for what Fair they Fair enough. This Fair is enough. very impressive for the kind of stuff they had back then. True. Like, it's not like a, like a green screen showing, you know what I mean, whatever the screen it could... I don't know if it was a thing, but like... Yeah. Uh, some kind of screen showing it. Yeah, they would have, like... Maybe a couple of real birds flying. What they, would, what they would really do is that they would just have the actors run, like, across the screen behind them to have, like, another image. So the image you see behind them is actually behind them. More of them now. Mm. And sometimes they would interlace fr film frames over each other to create, like, a kind of weird effect. But demilling success. Oh, gosh, she's bloody as hell. They really picked at her. Mrs. Bundy said something about Santa Cruz. About seagulls getting lost in a fog and then flying in towards the lights. We don't have what? any fog. There's Ma none Make our own fog. How do you figure to do that? We can use smoke puffs the way the army uses them. Look! Oh! They're attacking again. Well, Melanie, you stay in here. Come on, Al! He's gonna set something on fire. That the bird's gonna do something. Oh, oh shit! No! 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 I, it didn't even hit me, but I was reeking of gases because I was near it. Yeah, that shit smells. Like, that shit, gas smells, and it's all over. Yeah. How the hell is does that shit not intoxicating your that nose hole? That is an incredible question. Yes, that's so hey, true. Don't drop that match! Look out! Get out of there! Please! Mr. Ron! Watch out! Look out! Look out! Watch out! Oh, shit. Oh, 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 o
Jesus Christ! Whoa, that happened! Oh my god, the sense of gas got everywhere. It's oh the my bird god. plague, it's the bird apocalypse. Wow. Hey man, I think he uh, was right. Time to bear arms, man. It's time to bear arms and kill these motherfuckers. I used to dream of catching a bird when I was growing up. I, I used to chase them, you know? Have you seen them? Run after one? Yeah. I used to do that a lot. Crazy how all this were how things got so chaotic just a small span of time. Yeah, dude. Everything was fine. Love a story, ago. la di da. -di -da. Uh, <laughs> catch right to Burn the camera. <laughs> See, that's the Crips. Maybe yeah, we saw the bloods earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh, is that. Um, what's the face? Oh, no. Stay here, stay, stay here. It might be. It look kind of looks like your hairstyle. Right? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, no, shit, no, no, that's no, her. No, no, no. Damn. Okay, at least the kid's okay, but damn. That does not sound good. Yep, so they gather again. <clears throat> Here for the next attack. Sounds like there's a whole platoon of them. The final attack. God! Wait, what are you trying to do? They're coming. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Chompied. Damn. Is he going to strangle a bird? Oh, using a rope to tie it, yeah, that makes more sense.
Mm, the chipping away. Jesus. <laughs> wow. How sharp are their beaks? I didn't realize they could do that to a fucking door. How do they stay still in one spot to keep doing it? Yeah. Still in the feel like fucking Night Living Dead with birds. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. They're all like, they're all in this house. They're uh -huh. boarding up all the windows. Yes. All we need is racial tension and a shotgun, and we have the movie. Jump scares. I didn't. Oh, I didn't realize it was like they broke through the roof. Why did you close the door on yourself? Did you see they were tracking to the light? If so, then just throw the flashlight away. Yeah. You're gonna die at this rate. You just take it. They're chomping at you, they're slashing you up. Go open the fucking door! Wait, is he just trying to keep them from entering like the house? That's gotta be it. Cause it doesn't really defeat the per because they're terms of opening the door, they're just gonna follow her through. So she just self sacrificed at this point, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, no, she's bird child. It's a wrap. Yeah, I don't see their uh, yeah, I don't see her arm moving. I don't know. I don't think she might be actually be dead. You're not going to tell them about the roadblocks? <laughs> Which will run through them shits? <clears throat> what is your plan here, guy? Yeah, now she's the blonde chick from the first movie. From yeah, one. now she's too traumatized to speak. Yeah, she's too traumatized yeah. to speak. Wow. It's like actually kind of crazy to think of how similar those two movies actually are. Yeah. They even had the fucking um, radio talking about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Look with the sunlight, it's like it's like a almost a new age and the birds are taking over. It is the dawn of the the, of the first age of bird kind. about to attack before they fully get away. Can I bring the lovebirds, Mitch? No. I haven't harmed anyone. <laughs> oh, Alright, 
Sorry, I just got a wave of anger. I was about to, I'm about to, I'm about to curse her out, but she's a little girl. Now drive, drive as fast as you can away from the birds. Okay, they didn't even color that frame at all. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fucking... <laughs> they didn't even bother with this frame, oh my god. They said, screw it. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> you know what this movie's supposed to look like. <laughs> And there they go, dropping off into the sunset. Oh, that's it? Yeah, you just, you remember when I pulled pull, pull it up, you just like two minutes left? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Are no ending credits, though? Just... Yeah, no ending credits, huh? Okay, yeah, that's uh, the birds. Mm hmm. That's whoa, the birds. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was some. No, we don't want to watch Apollo 18, no. What's wrong with Apollo 18? It is very meh. <laughs> it's a very meh movie. Oh, is that a sequel to Apollo 13? Fuck no. What is it? It's a crappy horror movie about something that never happened. Oh, get out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah. It's definitely not my favorite Hitchcock movie, but there's a lot of good to it. Absolutely not, but yeah, I mean... It was just enjoyable, like, even the parts that were co uh, kind of unrelated to what this movie really is, like, the love story, and, and, and like, yeah. takes, that takes, like, the first half that really does nothing for the second half. Mm -hmm. Just pretty much there <laughs> for shock value. Basically. It kind of doubled down on what made Cycle great, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel. Yeah. Uh, um, I... I still liked it. I, I liked the chemistry. I, I liked, uh, just, you know, them getting to know each other, they're me cute. And the birds, that was pretty scary, you know, so... Yeah. When the birds finally did start dying, yeah. there were a lot of very, like, yeah. you know, very threatening scenes. Yeah. A lot. Like, it definitely picked up after a bit. Absolutely. It, especially that last, like, ten minutes was, like, really ramped the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it, it really felt like Night of the Living Dead with the birds. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Both of them start really slow, but then they just, like, keep going and going, and they yep. just, like, get better and more and more extreme. But this one has at least a little bit more of a hope landing than Night of the Living Dead did. Oh, oh yeah. The High of the Living Dead's ending is fucking bleak. Bleak as fuck. <laughs> yeah, this one, it's like, okay, at least they're probably going to come all go out of this okay. Yeah. Yeah. I really just want to see... I, I want to end with the whole army coming in and murdering a bunch of birds. <laughs> yeah. It would be very cathartic to see that after all this. Yeah, right? After all the harm names those fucks caused. Oh, yeah. I, I love birds. Why make me hate birds? <laughs> this is... This is this movie's really bird racist. Yeah. It's birdist. Yeah, it's birdist. <laughs> <clears throat> this won't fly these days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. This movie won't fly these days. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but bird puts aside, again... Not my favorite Hedgehog movie. I do think a lot of the movies I've seen, I mean, from him, have been just a lot better than this. But yeah. again, as we, as Charles just said, it is still a very good movie. There's a lot of good to it. Like the, like everything about it. This, it really the biggest issue is just how slow it is in the beginning. Just how long it yeah. really takes us to get but there. But even even with the stuff that doesn't really relate to the movie, I still, I still, like I was invested. And I was invested. They, they could have just banned no birthdays, made a love story. I, I don't cool with it. You know what I mean? So at least they did that part well, in my opinion. Yeah, I feel like they do go a little too long with it, but yeah, yeah. for the most part, it's done well. You do believe these two, like our doctors here, all have chemistry, and you do believe they're in the situations they are. Yeah, they should have been a connection. You know what I mean? Like, because it does obviously feel random. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe it he's feels going for so that scare random. factor, kind of just throw you for a loop. I guess. I, I mean, know. I think that's kind of the idea because it's like, you know, the fact that it's so random means like, oh, the birds attack at any time. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> And a bunch of bird, you know what I mean, shots. Mm -hmm. Like, a bird store. The lo the lovebirds is the reason for even going to um that town. Yeah. Lovebirds are literally what... Lovebirds are... Like, literally, this whole movie started off because she walked into a bird store one day. And this dude just walked in behind her. I'm like, yeah. Yep, and then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? And people, every time, say, oh, birds are attacking. No one believes. No <laughs> nope. one believes her. 
Yeah, that's a that's a very common trope in like all in like a bunch of horror movies. Over there's a monster attack, and yeah. like the blob did the exact same thing. Like, oh, what do you mean there's a giant blob attacking? You're all a bunch of dumb kids. <laughs> yeah. But that being said, thanks again for joining us here tonight for horror. Oh, month. Did, we need to do scores. Okay, fine. What's your scores? Score? My score, I'd give like an eighty-four. I feel like it could be. I feel like if the like if you just reprioritize like. The birds and over the romance it would have been an even better movie, at least in my opinion. I actually was give it a little lower, eighty three. Mm-hmm. That's how, that's how I was thinking. Yeah, totally fair score. Again, yeah. we could both give you Hitchcock movies we saw that are just better than this in our opinion. We do we know that this is a very loved movie and we can definitely see why because there is a lot of good to it, but yeah. that's just our opinion that it doesn't deserve the nineties it gets and the critic yeah, no. score more the eighties gets in the audience score. Yeah, audience score is more in Line with how I think. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this time it lines more with what we think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that being said, folks, thanks again for joining us here for Horror Month. It has been an absolute blast, and hopefully we can do it again next year. With that being said, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time for the next movie re- reaction. <laughs> <laughs>